Hi, I'm here at 10509 Cricket Creek Drive, and this is the front of your home. I'm going to walk around to the right and go all the way around, and then I'll go in the front door. So, as you can see, I'm going to walk in front of the garage now. There are the lights on either side of the garage door. There's even one of those keypads, the LiftMaster keypad for the garage door. Landscaping. Paver driveway. Okay, so we'll walk around the side. Okay, this is the wide space between you and your neighbor. There's the AC, pool equipment, there's an area there for a future heater, I'm sure. Okay, and down to the back, side lanai. It's mowing out here. I hear a lot of mowers going. Okay, this is the back. And it still does need cleaning up and tidying. So they'll be doing that, I'm sure. And then there's the landscape around the pool cage. The pool looks beautiful. Okay, and this is looking down the other side. Alright, so I'll keep walking this way. this side entry looks. I'm going to scoot real close to the neighbor's house. So this is the way the front door looks. Now we'll just go in. The paver walkway continues from the driveway all the way to the front door. Really nice, very tall front door. And you walk in. The ceilings are definitely 10 feet. Okay, I'm going to go to the right down the hallway. It's your first bath. Here's the tub and the tile work. Really pretty. Okay, we'll go out to the right. Bedroom. This is in the front of the house. You can see how tall the ceilings are. They're definitely the 10 foot ceilings. Okay. Turn around. We're looking from the bedroom to the front, of, to the back of the house where the entry was. To the right here is the laundry room. Got the cabinets. Washer and dryer is here. Whirlpool. Looks really nice. Washer, dryer, and then a utility sink. Okay, and out here is the garage. 
turn a line on. Okay. And the AC is way up tucked in the ceiling area. There's the hurricane shutters. Water softener. Garage door opener is there. Okay, now we'll go into the den. It's this beautiful floor. Really nice. There's the, um, it's wired for either a light or a fan, whatever you want to do there. The electrical is all uh, ready for you. French doors. Then we go around. This is the dining area. Another area to put a chandelier or fan, whatever you want. Okay, and this is the kitchen. And the appliances are here now. As you can see, they're all Whirlpool. Um, there are those dark outlets that you were talking about, Alyssa. So I'll find out about that. I don't know if that is standard, if that has to be that way or what, but um, I understand how you feel about that. All right, the pantry. Big pantry. And the refrigerator is a side-by-side. -side. You were asking about upgrading to a French door, and that is something that I think you would have to do on your own later on, because the way Holly described it is these appliances are um, assigned to this particular home and um, the warranty is for here and everything and it didn't sound like that it could be changed out so it's something that you might want to discuss with her if you want to do that all right the backsplash is so pretty love it and the counter and the cabinets Got the crown molding on top. There's the stove and microwave. It's a convection stove. I believe, I'll double check on that, but I think it is. And the microwave, okay. So, there's the dishwasher is in. All right, so I'm standing at the sink looking out and the pool looks gorgeous. Look around. The height of the ceilings are just beautiful. They are the 10 feet. And it's got electrical in the ceiling. There's, there's the can lights for the kitchen, but then there's possibly three for maybe hanging pennants, that kind of thing. And then inside the tray, there's two um, areas that's already wired for lights, ceiling fans, whatever you want to use it for. Okay. I'll go into the master and then we'll go outside. So here's the master bedroom. It's got the tray ceiling also with the pre-wire up there. Nice big window. Window in the corner. Bathroom. Here's the walk-in. the taller counters the lights beautiful shower with the glass block yeah. okay 
And then the toilet area. There you go. <laughs> now you can see. Alright, so you're looking out this way from the master bathroom into the bedroom. And I'll walk out onto the patio now. You see my battery's about ready to die, so I don't I don't want anything to happen. Okay. Alright, gorgeous pavers. And then here's the back with the baby fence up. And the pool. The pool looks so beautiful. Okay. And some landscaping. Back inside. And basically that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. Hopefully this helps you a lot. And we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.